Hey everybody, how's it going today? Today we're looking at how to measure firewood and uh, what the dimensions are and how that works out. Everyone says, well, I want to buy a cord of firewood and then they have different versions. Oh, you can put a cord in the back of a pickup or you can put a half a cord or whatever. Well, I've stacked a lot of wood and I know my measurements and I've just redone some more. So we'll show you exactly what we're dealing with. This cone behind me has four cords of firewood. I can turn my camera around, we can look a little closer at what we're dealing with. Hey, dog not included. This uh, cone here, I just measured exactly what I had for wood. This is four cords. Uh, near as I can tell, it's just about exactly 10 feet tall. 56 feet circumference. So how you do the math on a cone is uh, the circumference and the height. A cone is two, one third the volume, or you figure out, figure out the area on the bottom. So 56 feet divided by the circumference gives you a radius of 8.9, or a diameter of 17.8, radius of 8.9 pi r squared gives you the volume, 250 square feet. And 250 times a third of the height, 833 cubic feet in that pile. 833 divided by 4 says in a loose pile, that means 208 cubic feet. When it's loose, turns into 128 cubic feet stacked. Now let's figure out where this 128 comes from. So firewood, of course, always comes in a pile like that. It never, ever... What the heck just happened there? Firewood always comes in a pile like that. It never, ever comes stacked when it comes out of a conveyor or anything else, right? So the proper volume of, to measure a cord of firewood is 4 feet wide, 4 feet high, and 8 feet long. 4 by 4 is 16 by 8 is 128. So stacked firewood is... A, is one cord is 128 cubic feet. In this situation, this little basket here, you can see where I've got some painted lines along there. This basket here is six by four. And when it's this high, just over the 32 inches, that is 64 cubic feet, which is one half of a cord. I just built this uh, door thing on it here. When you fill this basket right full, at four and a quarter feet high. This is four feet, so when you fill her that high, four and a, or well, that is, four and a quarter should be 104 cubic feet loose volume, or one half cord. So stacked to the blue line, full to the very, very top. What does a half cord of firewood look like when it's loose? Right here. That's one half cord. That's came out of one of the baskets that was stacked in there and then dumped here as a measured half cord. You think, well, that's not very big. If you dump that loose into an eight foot pickup box, you'll fill the whole thing. If you stack it into an eight foot pickup box, it will be stacked level to the top of the box. There's no possible way in the world someone can put one cord of loose firewood into an eight foot box unless you got some high, high sides. So this is a half cord of loose firewood. 16 inch birch. Those two piles hold about 14 cords, I think, if I'm doing my math right. But I just did the math again on that, four, on that uh, pile over there because I knew for sure I had exactly four cords. So I redid the math. I used to think it was about 200. It's actually 208 by loose volume. That's how it turns out. And I stack it because when I'm selling firewood, it costs a lot of money. And I don't want to give a whole lot of extra away and I don't want to rip off the customer because if someone stacks it and they figure out I shorted them, they're going to be upset, as would I be. So a quart of firewood. Cord of firewood is four foot by four foot, eight feet long, stacked, 
which is 128 cubic feet. When it's loose, according to my calculations, which I've done a bunch of times now, is not like, oh, it's about 150 cubic feet or 170. It's at least 200, and this latest calculation with this pile right behind me, four cords exactly, 208 cubic feet in a cone per cord. So now I will dump with my conveyor. I'll throw some clean firewood in the big conveyor into this basket, fill it right full. So it's right full to the top, which should be exactly half a cord. Then I'm gonna dump it out on the ground and then I'm gonna restock it and it better fill up right to those blue lines to prove that my calculations in a square box are still right. And then we'll know.